My name is Will Wolfwich. I'm here with Rebbits in Atlanta, Cowland. We actually met through my sister, Stacey Amber, right. a huge rock star in her own right. Rebbits in mm -hmm. Cowland is the Women's Director of Programming here at Asia Torah, empowering women to be inspired about their Judaism. Rebbits in, we're trying to get down to the bottom of what is Hanukkah all about? What do you say? What is Hanukkah about? So it's not by accident that Hanukkah takes place in a very dark time um, in the middle of the winter. And we're bringing in our candles one at a time as they grow each day and get brighter and brighter and brighter. Um, because when you have darkness, what you have is essentially is absence of light. And there's two ways to bring in light. Let's say you're in a room and it's very dark. You can generate your own light, like a candle, or you can open the window and flood the room with tons of light from something outside. So the Greeks weren't just a candle, they were a tremendous torch. They were scientific and philosophical, but they wanted the light to be generated entirely by themselves. The Jews, on the other hand, we don't cap the light at ourselves. We see ourselves not as generators, but more as channelers of some bigger light that's outside of us. Essentially, your choice for your relationship with God is to power struggle or to partnership. If you power struggle, it's you. And if you partner, then it's you as a channel for something bigger than you. So once you're connected to something infinite, then as small as you are, the light that you can bring in has a capacity for infinite greatness. So on Hanukkah, we connect to that connection of light that comes from such a huge source. And we bring the light into this world that needs us, needs our partnership, needs us to play a role in bringing light to darkness, but connected to a partnership with an infinite light. And uh, I hope you light up your world, Will, and I hope we all light up our worlds over this Hanukkah. Beautiful. Happy Hanukkah. Thank you so much, Robertson. Sure.